dry mouth is the scourge of over 600 medications. And we know that, as I mentioned earlier, saliva is your number one step in nutrition, breaking down the food with the enzymes that's in there. So when we have the geriatric community that has dry mouth, their nutrition is not what it should be. Saliva also reduces tooth decay, and what we find in a dry mouth circumstance is what we call rampant root decay, where a mouth of a 90-year-old, 70-year-old can fall apart within a matter of a month or two, especially with the lack of quality oral care, as well as the types of food an individual is ingesting, or the stickiness, or if they're on pureed foods. Those individuals also need to have their teeth extremely well brushed. Now, you can improve the saliva flow a little bit, but you have to know if there's enough medications, it's very, very difficult to do that. There are products on the market called Xylitol, and those help produce saliva as well as the fact that they do not cause cavities. Always having plenty of water to moisten the mouth, if the person has a problem with being an NPO, nothing by mouth, you can use the spongettes to swab the mouth to keep it clean and also to keep the stickiness out. Using a fluoride paste is good or a rinse. Sometimes even using a vaporizer in a room can add moisture for the evening and or the nighttime when that person is sleeping. Over-the-counter saliva substitutes can be purchased and these work occasionally, but again, it's much better just to think in terms of some fluids to help.